Hey everybody, it's Rusty again with Collector Auctions. I've got another CGC unboxing for you. Today we've got a 9.8 pre-screen submission, a modern submission. It is the first 25 books in a 50 book order. So we're just going to do the first box today. It's setting right here. I'll give you some details on the order itself and the speed of which I actually got these back is pretty amazing. I sent these out September 1st. CGC received them, you know, on their website, received October 4th. And they literally shipped them sometime the 5th and the 6th, respectively. And we've got the two boxes back on the 7th and one yesterday. So this is the first of the two boxes. So let's get into it. Hey, before we get going, if you like this kind of content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons for my channel. I will be doing more unboxings as more CGC boxes come in over the next month or so. There, I've got a lot of orders out. A lot of them are actually being worked on at CGC. They're cleaning, pressing the books. I, they were all sent out before I learned how to do that myself. Uh, just so you know, the box today and the one that we're going to see in the next video when I post that, they were all cleaned and pressed. They were all modern books, mostly, mostly newer books. They didn't need a lot of work. But still, some of the newer books, you still get spine ticks and little dings and everything. And I, I worked them out. Most of them didn't require a lot of work, but um, I'm happy with the results. So let's get into it. Here's the box. And let's get started. All right. The first book in this is... A facsimile edition of Captain America 117, the first appearance of the Falcon. Now, I actually had this book uh, earlier this year. I ended up selling it raw. It was in a pretty rough shape and everything. And maybe I had some regret about selling it and everything. But I found this at my local LCS. And if you watched my last videos, I talked a lot about facsimile reprints and how they will look in your collection. You get a nice grade like this. This is a nice presentation piece. So right now, you're at the facsimile edition of this in my collection 9.8. And as I should say, I did a pre-screen 9.8. So what I've got in this box right here, I'll just give you a heads up right now. It was 24 out of 25 books in this box right here. I missed on one and we'll save that one for the end. So I, not, it's no grade reveal here, but it's really more or less a book reveal and to show that uh, my cleaning and pressing abilities have gotten pretty good. Even, like I said, these are easier books to handle. Most of them are in great shape to begin with. All right, next book I've got is Werewolf by Night, number 32, the first appearance of Moon Knight. This is the facsimile edition. It just literally came out, I believe, what, a month ago? And again, I'm throwing this into my collection. I never had this book growing up. I had, I think in one of my old videos, I had Marvel Spotlight number 29, which was what it might have been the, what, third or fourth appearance. But that was the earliest one I ever had. I never had this. I did read Werewolf by Night. I had a bunch of issues throughout that. And don't know what happened, but I was buying these off the newsstand, or I should say my mom was. And... Missed out on this by probably about two issues. Anyway, nice facsimile reprint. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice reproduction. It's a nice conversation piece to have in your collection and to display. Okay, so the next one I've got, I did multiple copies of this. It is Batman 106. It is the first appearance and cameo of Miracle Molly. And as much as I love specking on older books, some of the newer books I like to spec on as well. So I went ahead and submitted several copies of this. In fact, I've got one, two, three. I've got four of those. All of them came back in great grades. All not obviously 9.8s. I'm very happy to have this in the collection. 
Now, all these books are always going to be available to you if anybody's interested in them. Uh, I leave my information in the comments section on my channel. You can always contact me at collectorauctions at yahoo.com. It's all one word. So please feel free to reach out if you're interested in any of the books that you see today. Okay, so that was the first cameo appearance, but then I also did the first full appearance. This is the regular copy, the regular uh, cover, 108. And I did two copies of that. So I've got two copies of the regular cover, first full appearance of Miracle Molly and Batman. And what's better than the regular cover? It's getting the cardstock cover. I actually like this cover better. I thought this was a more interesting illustration, but I did two copies of that as well. Okay. So another book that I had, I might have had this in an earlier video, I'm not, I can't remember right off, but it's, this is uh, Star Wars, The War of the Bounty Hunters, Director's Cut, it's the Alpha Edition, it's the beginning of the storyline of Boba Fett as he takes the carbonite encased Han Solo from Vader into Boba Fett, I'm sorry, to um, Jabba the Hutt, and this was the first issue. It was pretty hot. There were various covers to this. This was... I'm not sure what, which one you would call that cover, but uh, I actually like that one on the stand an awful lot. This was the director's cut. So I thought I would basically spec on this a little bit. I thought it would be time to get that into collection. Hopefully they will be coming out with some more uh, Disney Plus shows on Boba Fett that will uh, maybe hit on this and... We'll maybe drive some demand on this book. We'll see. Okay, one of the funnest days I had over this last year had to be Free Comic Book Day. It's the first one that I actively participated in. I've gotten free comic book books at on those days before, but never, always after the fact. I never really specced on it. I was pretty excited this year. They had they had several books that really piqued my interest, books I'd gotten into. They had the Stray Dogs Free Comic Book Day. They had this one I've got in my hand right here. They had Red Room. There were some, there were some issues that were pretty nice, but this is the one I'm going to show you right now. It was Enter the House of Slaughter. And if anybody got this book, they know that the paper wasn't as good on the cover as you would normally get on a regular cover. It was pretty rough and I ended up picking up several copies. I made a day of it. I should have done a video. I even said so at the time. I literally went from on my travels. I ended up at four different shops going from mostly in Maryland down into Virginia on my travels and stopped at every shop, picked up you could only pick up in most of these shops one copy of this. So I had my wife, my great wife, uh, actually went to the store. My daughter did as well with some of her friends and visited some other shops. And we I got multiple copies of this one right here. So I ended up with not just one, two, three. I got four copies, all at 9.8 of Enter the House of Slaughter, free comic book day edition. So real happy with that. The pressing was really good on this. They, they, I did have a couple that had some serious spine tick damage. The covers were pretty rough. And I worked on these probably more than any of the other books in this, uh, this collection today. And cleaned them all up. These were the best ones of the lot. Real happy to have these at 9.8. So also, on my travels, one of the shops I stopped at was Beyond Comics out in Frederick, Maryland. They had a 
ratio variant box sitting right there on the counter that you could thumb through. And one of the books that I've enjoyed a lot this year, probably one of my favorites, was Berserker. And they had several of the variants. And that's what I've got here. So I picked up a bunch of variants from that store. They weren't that expensive. But uh, right here we have the, this is the Virgin copy of, how do you pronounce his name? Romejo's Virgin Edition here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork. And they also had the regular copy of that as well, the, with the trade dress. So I picked up both of those. And these may, I may sit on these for a while until we actually get news of the movie, animation, show, whatever, whatever's going to happen with this. Wait for another news cycle to um, do something with them. It'll be a lot more interest and that people will be more attuned to it. Now, I also picked up, this is the Brooks Virgin cover. These are all issue number ones, by the way, first prints. And that was that's another beautiful illustration. And then I picked up two copies of this. This was the Grandpa Virgin variant. And I had two copies of that as well. And I probably one of my favorite covers of the whole of all the variants that came out on this right here this is probably one of my favorites I do have a couple of copies of the regular trade dress on that that was just the regular number one issue cover that I had some of those as well so that I got slabbed that was in my very first order that I submitted to the CGC and I, over time I also picked up some different printings this is the fourth print foil cover. This was the Grandpa cover, foil, the foil edition of that. That was a pretty tough cover to make sure there wasn't any imperfections. You know how uh, the metallic foils will pick up scratches real easy. But that was real nice. And the last berserker I've got here is Ron, excuse me, Ron Garney's cover for the fifth printing. Now, all these I ended up buying. It's completely spec books at this point. I'm probably going to hold on to them for a little while. I, there's no need to move them at this point. But this was a great, wonderful illustration as well. I love that. I love Ron Garney's artwork. I especially I was a big fan of his artwork when he worked with Mark Wade on Captain America years ago now. Now this was completely a, this new one right here, this was completely a cover by, I'm not sure of how much spec it was, but just a beautiful cover. It was the, this is the DC Festival of Heroes Art Germ cover of Batgirl. And I saw that cover and I'm going, wow, that's, that's really nice. So it's an extra thick book, so it's a much thicker slab. Didn't need any work. I didn't do anything on this. It was straight up a straight buy. Didn't have to do anything to it. Got a 9.8 on that. That was, a, that was a good buy on my part. Again, that book's going to stay in the collection for a while. There's nothing to really worry about. I'm not specking on that right now. It can sit there and we'll see how it does. All right, guys. The last book that is actually slabbed in this collection right now is... Probably my favorite cover to one of the Stray Dogs comics. Everybody's really has enjoyed Stray Dogs this year. I think the, the horror variants have really sparked even more interest than just the story by itself and the way they do the story of the Disney style and the, the subject matter. But the this was my favorite cover only because it's probably one of my favorite movies of all time especially this time of year. It's, it is my traditional Halloween movie. I watch this every year in October. But Stray Dogs, this is, hang on. It is 
Issue number one, this is the fourth printing cover. They did an homage to John Carpenter's The Thing. And I love that cover. I went, tried to buy this straight up from my local LCS, and they had run out completely. So I ended up spending probably a little bit more than I should have. It wasn't that expensive, but I wanted to make sure I got these books in. So I got one of those slab. That was real nice. Uh, I think I saved the other one, one of the other ones I had bought. I actually met the art, artist down at our local LCS at Third Eye Comics in Annapolis here a few weeks ago. She came in to do a signing and ended up, this is one of the copies that I wanted to get signed. So I have that in my collection as well. But this one I had sent off to CGC, got 9.8 on this. Now, so I kind of take it back what I said earlier that this, one of the other books I worked on a lot. This is one of the ones I worked on a lot, actually, even more so. As you can see, there is a white border around this. And in that being stacked in the box when they get shipped, you see the dark cover on the back here. Well, that dark cover rubbed on this white pretty good. And I spent a lot of time cleaning these edges. And static that these came back as nine came back as the 9.8 it was a good teaching moment for me it's the first books that i had actually cleaned really cleaned that way and I'm real happy with the results so this one stays in the pc 9.8 all right guys the last thing i've got in this right here is the box that says raw books and if like i said we had 25 slabs that are sitting right here excuse me 24 slabs out of 25 this right here is the 25th book and the one book that did not meet the muster for the 9.8 was a second copy of berserker number one the uh the fourth printing the foil cover i'll have to i haven't taken a quite a close look at this but this was not a great loss in not getting it slapped. It's not like I was completely disappointed. It wasn't something that wasn't the biggest deal, actually. So I was happy that this is the one that out of this order right here that did not get slapped. But I will take a look at it. Maybe it gets resubmitted at some point. But so anyway, guys, that was a real quick video. Uh, a lot quicker than my previous couple videos. But this was a pre-screen. Every You knew that everything was going to be a 9.8 if it was slabbed. That's about it today. So I will, this is, like I said, this is the first part of a two-part video. I will submit a, do another video for the second 25 books. If you like this content, as I said at the beginning of the video, please hit the subscribe button so you'll know when my new videos are released. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, leave comments, leave messages. If you want to talk about the books that I, that I got graded, if you're interested in anything, just let me know. But that's it for today, guys. I want to thank you for being here today. Take care.